Welcome back to another episode of Bearcast. And on this episode, you keep talking. Oh. And on this episode of Bearcast, we go deep and very philosophical into the questions that many of you have been asking for years. What is your favorite sexual position? Oh, my favorite sexual position? Yeah. Wait, is that like a legit question or is that part of the bit? Nah, it's legit. <clears throat> okay, so for our podcast listener, podcast listeners, you guys are going to have to use your imagination. Uh, for those of you on the YouTube, you don't have to use your imagination. And for those of you guys on Pornhub, you can just straight watch it. I don't know if I see this position very much on Pornhub. I mean, I don't our, think the, video, at- the video we uploaded on Pornhub. Oh, right. Yeah, you can go there. Yeah. No, I would never be on Pornhub. Ever. Why? Ever, ever. Why not? Why not? Oh, I don't want to be on Pornhub. It's just not my not my passion. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, so it's when Papa is... So we're, we're on the bed or on the floor, but oh, for the shit. sake of simplicity, that's not the position, bro. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking on the floor. I'm like, damn, you're fucking rowdy. You're going there? Rowdy on the floor in your own room? Try fucking try fucking in a public restroom on the floor. That's rowdy. That's nasty. Anyway. You've done that before? It was a clean bathroom, thank you very much. And it was um when I was a teenager. So How come you don't it. do that with me? Because you're not that guy. I wanna fuck you in a 76. You don't know you don't. Yes, I do. You d- we're gonna go do that right after. Okay, sure. <laughs> you're not that person. Anyway, do you wanna want me to answer your question or not? I'm not Mexican, I know. I have standards, but if you want me to bone you in the back of a Chevron, we'll do it. Oh, so you're saying Mexicans are fun as fuck, spontaneous, and aren't bitches? Okay, I'll take it. No, they can't afford rent, so they have to do it in bathrooms and gas stations. Oh, then how do all my family members do it? Because they own all their houses. Why do you think there are so many gas stations everywhere? Because people have cars, you idiot. (laughs) (laughs) You're funny. <laughs> I'm not seen your question. Moving on. No, I want to know your question. What's just the, what's the, the, <sighs> the public has spoken and they want to know what is your favorite sexual position and why? Okay, so I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible, okay? So uh, uh, on a bed, mm-hmm. Papa is facing me. Is that north or south or west? Keep it simple, bro. I'm just kidding. Uh, facing me, you're on your knees and you're standing like you're upright, but on your knees. Mm-hmm. Okay. Full boner, ready to rock. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Why are your eyes smiling? How do you make your mouth and your eyes smile and your nostrils? <laughs> My dick tip smiling too. <laughs> Fucking nasty. Okay. Uh, and then imagine me laying on my right side. So I'm on my side. Uh, legs are on the side like this. Okay. Oh shit. Papa, I'm showing for you. Papa's like on his knees like this. Yeah. All right. I'm on my side. Yeah. My left leg yeah. is like, I'm almost kissing my knee. Like that's where it is. My right leg is straight in between your two legs. You guys with me still? Yep. You guys get that? I love that. Uh, I know it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So on the side, uh, right leg straight between Papa's legs. It sounds weird calling you Papa. Uh, this fucking fuck animal. My fuck <laughs> animal's legs. And then I'm on my side. And then that position is so good. Why do you like that position so much? Uh, Cause I like how much like in contact we are. There's so much skin on skin and skin on skin feels really good for me. Um, And um, so it's really warm. It's very intimate, it's very close. Um, And then just the angle in which your dick hits it is we, you know what I mean? Yeah. You don't even have to move. You can just leave it in there and I'm like fucking dying. Yeah, I don't know the science behind it, if that's what you're asking, but that's my favorite position. I could just leave it in there, and sometimes I just want to come. I know. My pussy's that good, baby. Is that bad, though? No. I mean, my pussy is fucking mwah, you know? How do you know? Because you just said you don't have to do anything. You leave it in there, and you're going to bust. That's usually been the, <laughs> you know, that's been the theme <laughs> but what if I, what of if, this. But what if my, my dick is just really good at coming? No, it's not. It's not good at coming? No, it's not. My dick is re- it has a 100% chance of coming. 
<laughs> well, then I guess I take it all back. My dick likes to come, okay? Okay, well, then I have trash pussy. Ew, you fuck trash pussy. Why are you turning it loser. around like that? No, no, we're just, we're, 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 we're just talking. Yeah. Just talking. You like trash pussy. How does it feel to like, let me ask you a question. How yeah, does it feel to like anything. trash pussy? Well, uh, you can't wait to get it out of here, but it's always coming back for some reason. You're like, get away, get away, get away. But you just can't get rid of it. All right. Well, what's your favorite position? My favorite? I think it's when um, your legs are up next to your shoulders. Next to my shoulders? Yeah. When, is it, when you're like bent backwards like that. Bent backwards? Yeah, you know when you're on your back? Oh, okay, okay. And then I'm... Because bent backwards mean I'm like this. Oh, I mean like you're like... like I'm on my like, stomach. Yeah, you're on your back and your legs are folded okay. this way. And then I'm on top of you. Okay. That's my favorite. How come? Because I feel like I'm a gorilla crushing your ass. Oh, you're fucking for sure cr fucking killing me. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah, because you're just like so sturdy. Like you're just heavy boned. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're just heavy. So with every thrust, it's just like this fucking muscle. You're just one muscle. <laughs> yeah, That's you're true. fucking solid. When I get a boner, I only turn into one piece of muscle. Yeah. It's all gonna get like this. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you asking? Why are you asking these questions? You usually don't ask this shit. Just wondering. <clears throat> Why? Just a conversation starter. <laughs> oh, that was the only thing on your mind? Yeah. I think because we had dope sex yesterday. I think that's the only thing you're thinking about. Really? Well, you usually never bring it up. Well, um, these are the off the cuff episodes. So we're just talking about anything, you know? Yeah. And that's what I'm saying. It's on your mind because we had dope sex yesterday. That could be. We did have very dope. What was dope about it? Um, That you were listening to me. Yeah. So to catch everyone up, um, Papa and I, fuck, my fuck animal over here. <laughs> uh, and I have... Uh, I feel like we've plateaued in our sex life or something. Um, we've been together for 11 years now. And yeah, it, it's just kind of been like the same old same. And um, we've been changing and, and evolving as people and as individuals um, in every aspect of our life, whether that's health, um, socially, um, career wise, like we've we've both evolved but when it came to intimacy, that felt like it just stayed the same. So then recently, um, if you listen to our, uh, what is it, New Year's resolution, you'll get a little bit more insight. But yeah, um, one of my New Year's resolutions was to have the best relationship I've ever had in my whole life uh, for this year. And that's one of them, you know, a relationship, an intimate relationship. Um, yeah, it needs intimacy. So uh, when, when, before we started having sex, I, I was telling him everything I wanted step-by-step. Step. So I think that's what was dope that you were actually like listening. You weren't questioning, you weren't trying to talk back. You were just, yes, adding. So I'm like, do this. And it was like happening. It wasn't like, am I do like, like it wasn't like an insecure, like, like this, am I, am I doing that right? Is that what you want? It was just like, boom, got it. Like it wasn't like, I like that you didn't ask questions. I like the way you told me too. Because the way you told me, it wasn't like you're telling me, um, like we didn't step, we didn't step out of the, the turned onness. You know oh, because I mean? it would be weird if you're like, <clears throat> ooh, e ooh, e ah, put my leg like this. Ooh, e e ooh, ooh, ah. It was, it was more like, ooh, e ooh, put my leg like this. Ooh, e ooh, put my leg like this. Ooh, e ooh, put yeah. my yeah. my neck. My bad. Ooh, ee, ooh, ee, ooh, ooh, ee, ooh. <laughs> it, was, it was like that. So we were able to stay in it the whole time. Oh, okay, cool. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. What about you? What about you? What about me? I can't. This is. I, no, I told you. I told you. My favorite one is when your uh, knees are by your, your head. Yeah. 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 Well. Um. So yeah, I think I think a lot of couples when they've been together for a long time, um, I feel like they plateau. You know what I found out though? I found out a lot of dudes take Viagra. When they don't need it. What do you mean? So I found out. <gasps> Spill the tea, So bitch? I found out a lot of my friends. So I, I went. Uh, do I know these people? Some of them you might know. But I went to go hang out. And I'm not going to even say the outing. Because you guys are fucking nosy out there. You can do a bunch of research. But we were hanging out indoors or outdoors. <laughs> in California or not. <laughs> and. Um, oh, okay, I know this one. Yeah. And then we're just all just chilling. You know. Or not chilling. Standing or sitting. And. Um, or both. 
And then someone brought up like the blue pill. And then I was just there. And then when that person brought the blue pill, everyone's like, oh yeah, blah, 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 blah. Oh yeah, blah, blah, blah. Oh, well, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, you guys all have taken it? And he goes, yeah. And I'm like, and you guys don't have ED? Uh, erectile, erectile dysfunction? At all? And they're like, nah, like we sometimes if you just need that extra thing, you just take it and you feel extra. And then after you come, uh, if you need to get it back up, you can get it back up fast. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, maybe I should take it. So I'm so nervous with shit like that. I know. That's, that's the why thing. I didn't even take birth control. But it was so but it was so nor- it was so normal for all these dudes to take it. I know, but this is all normal too for a lot of people to fucking just take Adderall for yeah. fucking a whole school year you know yeah i ain't true. about that that ain't my shit i can't do it yeah but a lot of them took it and a lot of them are telling me that they uh, they don't take the full thing because obviously they don't need it and then there's the side effects of where you have a boner for like six hours and then it just and it breaks your dick because and now you can't get it up anymore you're a dad you can't have a fucking six hour boner unless it's nighttime no no the six hour boner it's it's uh involuntary so you take the pill. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, yeah, you're at work. Nighttime. You're walking yeah, around. You can't do that. Yeah, you can't do that. You're, you're at the gym with the boner. Like you're doing. You have to clear your calendar that day. Yeah. Like you're cooking with the boner. Um, and then so it doesn't go away. So they all take half a pill and it's just enough to get them where they need to be. Uh, and is it be so it, is it because they finish too fast and or when they finish, they can't go again? It's for a m- bunch of different purposes. I think one, it's like it gets some like, like, like your skin is just getting stretched. You know, like you just have like it's engorged with. And them. why do you why do you want that? So you just it's fully pumped. It's like. It, but why do you want it fully pumped for a guy? For a guy, I think you feel more powerful and you're fully turned on. Like you don't want a half chub, you want a full chub. Okay, and you can feel it. Yeah, you can feel it. I mean, you could even tell if I have a half chub or I, full chub. I could tell, but some girls like half chubs. They do. Yes. Well, I think all guys want to have full chubs because that's when they're they're to rock and roll. But some girls don't want a full chub. But all guys want full chubs. Oh, well. So that's why guys that's take That's why their sex life's going to be whack that's because they got to fucking meet in the middle. So they take the half chub. Well, maybe those girls should just find, find, find guys with smaller dicks. But the, all guys want full chubs. Well, I don't think it's a smaller dick. Just guys that don't take half the blue pill. Just guys that don't take the pill. They're natty. So there's natty and unnatty. That's true, maybe. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then, uh, or they want to be able to he do fucking it. fucking meathead. I or, knew I was going to connect with you on that shit. Or they want to do it like multiple times in a night, you know? Yeah. Just keep shooting, shooting them blanks out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. interesting. And I didn't know how common it was. Yeah. I didn't know. Damn, that's crazy. Yeah, I feel, sometimes I feel like I'm a um, geezer. You know uh, I mean? Cause you're just not up to the co- fucking hip, hip to the coup? Yeah, like I'm 35, right? And, um, but I feel like I'm 50 sometimes because some of the people that I talk to, like, like, uh, recreational and regular cocaine is pretty normal. Seems like people smoke weed all the time. Like Joe <laughs> Rogan smokes weed every fucking day, multiple times a day. I feel like everyone smokes weed. Um, that doesn't make me feel like a geezer. And then everyone, and then people popping half blue pills here and there. And that makes you feel like a geezer. And then people are, are like, uh, they, they like to stay up past 10, you know, they, they like to drink. And then uh, people, they like going to like New Year's parties, like parties and stuff in general. Um, people like to um, go to after parties, you know, and then it's just a, a, and people like to get dressed up for the club and look nice at night. I'm like, if I'm going to look good, it's going to be at 7 a.m. I want to look the best in the morning, like get it going, a, 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 going a, a night around town like that just goes I just go, oh, that's that's tiring. So when I think about like what the normal people enjoy, I feel like, fuck, I don't think I'm in that circle. I think I'm out here. Yeah, I don't think that's the normal people. I think that's just a type of group. But don't you like, uh, don't you like enjoying like, you know, getting all dolled up at night? Do I? Yeah. And I, no, I like the, I like getting dolled up because it's fun. But then I'm always wanting to stay home after. Like once I get dolled up, I'm like, nice. Let me, let me put on some slippers and just stare at all my work. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm not trying to go out. Um, I I don't feel like I. So I understand what you're saying, but I don't feel like a geezer. I just feel like those are not my people. Do you know what I mean? The times I feel like a geezer is when they're talking about trends and slang and like songs and shit, and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. I feel like that a geezer too. That's when I'm a geezer. Like when they start naming the rappers these days, I don't even know their names. Yeah. And the uh, like, 
<clears throat> just the words that they use these days, you know, the vernacular. It's it's quite strange. Yeah. Yeah. You literally said the same thing I just said. Yeah. Okay. So you don't feel like a geezer? No, I, I do feel like a geezer when that happens. Oh. Uh, with those specific things happen. But your other one about like going out, getting dolled up. But I also stuff, feel, I like feel like that's geezer. the world. No, it's not. Are you ever on Instagram and looking at are you, like, are you part of meme culture? There's a bunch of memes. No, because I'm a geezer. Oh, OK. Well, yeah, there's a lot of memes that are describing that type of person that like doesn't want to go out. Yeah. They're like, Por qué? well, I love going out, but it's just got to be at 5 a.m. Yeah. Well, yeah. So there's just memes with that. So there's your people are out there. It's a meme. You're OK. You're going to make it in 2020. I am. Yeah. You're not old. OK. Yeah. You okay? Yeah. Because okay. you just blew my mind, I think. In what way? Saying that I'm not old because I feel so old. Like, I feel so old in that way. Like, with my spirit, my spirit feels young, you know? Yeah. But I just feel like I never belong to the world. Like, what I see people do or, or like, like if I were to write a movie purely on my mind, not what, uh, not the the world's mind. You know when you watch a movie like uh, uh, Devil Wears Prada? Right, like she. Of all the movies, you're so funny. Well, because that's like very like pop culture-y, you know. It's like it's like she, a uh, girl from a small city, moves to a big city, and then she lands that job. She that, wasn't that, from that, a small city. Oh, well, that type of trope, oh, like okay. like small town girl moved to a big city, pitch perfect. Like all the formula is the same, right? Small town girl, big new thing. <laughs> I hope we get past the small time girl at one point. <laughs> and then um, you get to act two. The beginning of Act Two, all the same for all these movies, and it's always some like hip beat, doom, chicka, doom, chicka, doom, chicka, doom, and it's always night into town, hanging out with friends, big city life. It's always that, yeah. right? Because everyone does that, so everyone can relate to that. Yeah. If I wrote a movie purely on me, it'd be the small town girl going to Act Two, and she's just stuffing her face at Philly cheesesteak spots, chili cheeseburger places, fucking just dripping ketchup and mustard. All she'd be eating nonstop, and the, as soon as you see the sun start to go down, she knocks out at six p.m. So I I know that I'm not of the world because if I made a movie that was based off my mind, and when people watch those acts, they'll be like, wait. Where's the montage of the chick going out into the nighttime and then like having fun? Like, why is she passed out at like eight? Yeah. You know what I mean? But you know what people can relate to? Not me. But do you know what people can relate to? The next sponsor? I don't know. But do you know what people can <laughs> relate to? What? There we go. God damn. Stop trying to finish my shit. I thought that was my job. I'm a fucking soulmate. True. <laughs> Stop trying to be cute right now. But you know what people can relate to? You. No, you, you say your line again. Do you know what people got? This, this is fucking horrible. You know what? what? Forget it. Forget it. What? You failed. All right. So I want to introduce. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> I want to introduce our first sponsor. I'm so stoked that they. To uh, your titties. Huh? They people can relate to your titties. <laughs> I'm moving on. Oh. I'm moving on. Okay. I want to introduce our first sponsor, Third Love. I'm absolutely in love. I'm actually wearing the bra right now. I recently did this decluttering in my, um, what is it, my underwear drawer. Yeah. And I had like, honestly, I had about an additional, <laughs> I've talked about this in the past, but um, I decluttered again and I had like four more bras that I was still holding on to because they were so expensive. And I was like, I don't want to lose that on this money, but they fit horribly. So now with third love um it fits so perfectly and it was so comfortable that i'm like wait why am i holding on to these four bras that i'm not gonna wear anyways that i'm not gonna wear yes they were expensive um but i'm like i gotta i gotta get rid of it it's just yeah. taking up so much space in my drawer third love i'm not kidding you guys it took me six so they have this 60 second uh quiz that you take it asks you about boob size uh areas that like um are like uh, problem areas for you. Like for me, bra straps would dig into my shoulders a lot and yeah. it was really painful. Or they were like too thick or I just didn't like, like the way the underwire fell on certain bras. So it asks you all these questions after 60 seconds. It gives you a, a recommendations of bras that they're like, hmm, like uh, looking at all the the problem areas or the things that you want to achieve. Yeah. This is what we recommend. What we, we, recommend that's awesome um and the first the first bra that they recommended i got like three of them and they were perfect super comfortable you were super comfortable there's no nippleage showing are they easy to take off 
<laughs> yes, okay, they're very good. easy. That's to all I really off. care about. Okay, thank you. Uh, the the straps, they it has like this. It looks like a bungee cord, kind of. Yeah. Um, but it no longer like digs into my shoulders. Like so your titties are just bungee jumping every day, then. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah. I like that. Yeah, and I have a uh, irregular boob sizes. Like one boob is bigger than the other. So when I was using the other brands, one of my bras was other. Like one of my boobs would spill out, but the other one was just like completely tucked in. That's it was, hot. No, not really. I like it when only was, one spills up. Well, no, there's no more spilling, okay? <laughs> oh, damn it. So I could wear white t-shirts. I could just wear tighter t-shirts and my boobs, like it looks like it's just one shape. It doesn't It doesn't look like there's the cup and then the boob mm. and it stops. So it just looks very nice, very uniform. Nice. I absolutely love it. Um, they also do, so after you take that uh, quiz, if you, they send you the bra and you're like, well, I didn't have the same experience Geo had. Like, it, this does not work for me. Don't even worry about it because they have the perfect fit promise, which is um, every customer has 60 days to wear it, wash it, and then put it to the test. And if it you don't love it, then wow. you just return it. Yeah. That's a long time. Yes. Because it takes a minute. Um, we'll return it and uh, third love will wash it and then donate it to women in need. That's so cool. It's dope. So nothing goes to waste. You get your money's worth. You get the perfect bra still. Um, and everyone's happy. That's sick. So for all my people out there listening, whether you're male or female, because we all have female friends if we're males, um, Third Love knows that there's a perfect bra for everyone. So right now they are offering our listeners 15% off your first order. So go to thirdlove.com slash bill. That's B-E-A-W. Now and then find your perfect fitting bra. And again, you're going to get 15% off your first First purchase. One more time, that's thirdlove.com slash bill for 15% off today. Man, you need like some pre-workout or something. You were just not catching my... I was. I was just purposely trying to miss. Oh, you suck. Why? You're so mean. You promise I'm mean? No. What the hell? What happened? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Oh, I don't know. You threw me a curveball. No, I'm just playing with you. We're just playing. You uh -huh. see, you need to wake up. I took some of that pre-workout right now. My hands are freaking itchy as hey, hell brought to you by barba brigade pre-workout yeah for <laughs> in the west it is and it tastes bomb uh look at that for some reason i just can't sleep these past two three nights i don't know what's going on maybe because i'm like so excited about like just what i'm releasing about life yeah like you know on my on my instagram and just kind of like exploring more and like the female space of like style and like makeup and stuff and i and i get to just play but you know the last couple of nights i was able to put you to sleep though what do you mean like you know how we, we watch tv and i just kind of pet you and i comb your hair and then you actually knock out yeah and then so afterwards you still can't sleep good after you you fall asleep on me like when you roll over you just it just wakes you up um last night that didn't happen no not that night but the other two nights it yeah. seemed like you had good sleep or it felt i felt like it, it was, was just it, two nights in a row the, the the uh last night and then the night before that i couldn't i couldn't sleep oh uh, yeah so like last night i went to sleep at three so i have like horrible bags under my eyes right now it's like all black so that's why i needed the pre-workout now i have itchy hands you just weren't um you're just rolling around in bed just like damn i can't i can't go to sleep kind of like that i think i was just up editing pictures and i think that was really exciting for me and i'm like oh this is fun so i just put my airpods mm, in and i was just in the zone so i was just working and then i was like oh shit so then i tried getting bored to fall asleep and I'm like, I'm just gonna wake up early and continue, but nah. Did you just, just, did you just set sleep. your alarm at four this morning? Or no, you're just like, no. No, you said not to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you were like, we're gonna be filming today. And I'm like, oh, good call. Yeah. And then, but it still didn't matter. I'm freaking tired. Well, not anymore, because I had that freaking pre-workout. So you feel like that? Yeah, I do. I do. My hands are itchy, like the blood's flowing. Like, Hell yeah. I'm here. I'm, I'm zoned seeing, in. Yeah, I'm zoned in. I'm seeing where you're not being funny. You know, like oh. I see it all. You probably like you're not, not funny. You're not sharp. You're not cat. Maybe you should take some pre workout. I think you I'm, need to be sharp. I, I think sharp. I am sharp. I'm pretty sharp. I'm sharp. Baby sharp. sharp do, 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 do. See, I caught that. Well, you said a burp, 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 burp. that mean okay. What yeah. do you do to get rid of the dark circles under your eyes? Is there Makeup. like is there oh but, I mean it's still here. You see it. There's no like specific remedy you can go to like put it away. Mm, sleep. Yeah. Sleep's the only way. Yeah. You can't put like a clay mask on or something mm -mm. and it sucks it out. Mm -mm. Oh, sleep. Sleep gets rid of them and just a lot of makeup. You know, when uh, when I used to have a lot of pimples, um, you know, you buy like those little tubes and it's supposed to like spot treatment. Yeah. I would used to put that all over my face because I'm like, 
wait, if this is spot treatment and it can get rid of pimples, I'm like, why don't I just get rid of pimples even before they start? So I would just squirt the whole thing on my well, face. Well, I mean, they're not, I mean, because it's just oil and dirt that's trapped. But I'm like, how do you know that there's not pre-pimps that are trying to come out? So I just like put it all over my face. And when I'm doing it, I know it's weird, but you know I'm also what's like, funny? what? So you talk all this crap about your parent and your mom's, uh, your mom and your dad's logic. Yeah. And they have, how they have just like funny logic. Well, their logic is, it's like this. This is the world's logic. There's the this, apple doesn't fall too there's far There's like the this. Tree. There's this going somewhere else. Mine is with the logic of the world. It's not because it's called spot treatment. It's in the fucking title. No, but it's for pimples. So if I was an it's, elephant. But it, if, if I hear spot treatment, that means it's highly concentrated. Yeah, so wouldn't that work for all of my face? No, because like, there's no yeah. pimples. There's pre-pimps. No, well, for the pre-pimps, you want to use a cleanser. So it takes away the fucking dirt. Oh, I see. But yeah, but I was just so, Dumb? I was just so Dumb? ready. Dumb? No, oh. I was just so ready to like get rid of all the damn pimples because I had such such bad skin. Well, maybe you should have stopped doing E. That's what it done. It. I know. Who fucking does spot treatment all over their fucking face while fucking rolling on well, E Well, I was every trying day. to be a fucking smooth skin raver. Yeah. So I would put it all over my face and then go to sleep. You wouldn't wash it? No, I'm trying to do it overnight. Oh my God. Did your fucking face peel? Eventually it did. Oh my God. You made your face so fucked up. Yeah. And I used to, but you remember those oxy pads? Yeah. And I used to scrub the shit out of my face with oh those Oh my too. God. You probably didn't even have pimples because of E. You probably just fucked up your own skin. Really? Yeah, that's bad. You're not supposed to overwash your face. Yeah. You're not supposed to leave shit overnight like that because it has a lot of retinol. Yeah, but I was trying to kill all the bad stuff in the face. Yeah, but you killed the you killed all your face. Really? Yeah, it's really bad. Because I remember when I was a kid before I had like puberty and E and all that. I would scrub my face as hard as I can and I have baby skin like Tychus. Yeah, but you're not putting spa treatment on the whole face for 24 hours and then washing it really bad with harsh like soaps. Oh. And then oxy, the oxy pads, that's really bad. Did you ever use those? No, I used like clean and clear or whatever that was. Oh. That was like the cool thing. I used then. the oxy packs I washed in the commercials. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah. But I didn't have that many pimples um growing up you still I, don't i didn't have bad skin that's wonderful you didn't do a lot of ecstasy i could tell no i didn't yeah i mean my whole family we, have, we all have really good skin oh really mm -hmm. so no no one had like the crazy you mm -hmm. know some people they got like the crazy breakouts they don't even do ecstasy and they mm -hmm. just have crazy breakouts i feel so bad for them like there's people that i see like uh influencers that show their their skin and it's like crazy right and to the point where they got to take that pill what is it called Oh, man, I forgot. There's a medication for really, really bad skin. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, but they got to take that. And I'm yeah. like, damn, how does, it, how does it turn like that? Kind of sucks. I mean, a lot of different factors. There's the sensitivity. There's the there's the smog. There's like um, diet, sleeping. Stress. I mean, there's so many different things. Yeah. I mean, we all have our strengths and our weaknesses or like our our goods and bads, I guess. But yeah, that, that one's rough. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I mean... I didn't stop at nobody. Yeah, I just got lucky. My mom has really good skin. Till this day, you think? What do you mean? I think she still, still has yeah, good Yeah, she skin. has great skin. She really does. You want to test it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, Bart. Do I? I don't know. We could test it. We could try to put like put purposely put some olive oil and some dirt on the side and see if a pimple forms. Oh, like put it on her skin and hope she doesn't wash it? Yeah. And she is that what it? that is? Is like dirt and olive oil like a seed for a pimple? It's like a pimple seed. I've never heard that. What are you talking about? Well, you said pimples come from like dirt and oil. Yeah. So I'm like, if we put dirt and oil yeah, I'm on I'm sure there's some hormones and shit in there. You're saying your mom ran out of hormones? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying she's not prone to having acne. That's what I'm saying. We want to test it. So no. we put some oil. No, I don't. We put some canola oil and some, and some dirt. How it's, come you cheapen the oil? You said... Well, because it seemed like oil. the olive oil wasn't hitting. So I'm like, <laughs> I'm going to try to pitch another oil or maybe I'll catch avocado. up. Maybe you try avocado and you yeah. might get a different response. What the hell was the double finger touch for? <laughs> <laughs> My nose itched. And I yeah. was just going like that. That's the most Chinese thing I've ever seen you do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you've seen You just probably forgot. Fine. How come you don't fart in front of me? 
What the <laughs> fuck? Okay, explain the thought process. What? Your question. Well, What's the thought process? The thought process, she never farts in front of me. Why don't you fart in front of me? No, the thought process, how we went from what we were just talking about to that question, that thought process. I'm like, okay, so she's going to try to double finger her nose right now. I'm like, that's one of the first Chinese things I've ever seen her do. I'm like, what's something else that's Chinese she doesn't really do? And I'm like, oh, oh she doesn't okay. fart. Okay, that's funny. Why do you need to know these thought processes? Does it help you? No, I just want to laugh because it's funny. Because you just fucking do the weirdest shit. I, w- I didn't double finger my nose right now. Yeah, the, this, it's the first Chinese thing I've ever done in 11 years. Like, I mean, that's pretty good. That's you, pretty you good. You yelled at me a lot. That's pretty Chinese. Is it? Well, you changed fingers. Why? <laughs> Why <laughs> Leave me go, alone. Why you go these to these? Leave me alone. What's the thought process behind those two? I need to know. What's the thought process behind those? Can you just leave me alone? Yeah. Okay. What was your question? Oh, why don't I fart in front of you? Yeah. Because it's disgusting. I think it's disgusting. What's disgusting about it? Uh, this gas that comes out of your butthole that smells like shit. Yeah. That's repulsive. But why don't you let me decide if it's disgusting? Well, because it's already disgusting for me. Oh. I don't want to be in my own filth. So you don't even fart by yourself. I mean, if I have to, I do it. But it's disgusting. What does it sound like? Oh, there's different ones. <laughs> I was about to do it with my mouth. But it's sometimes it's like... Um, Where do you usually fart then? Um, like, do you I, walk whenever away? Whenever I'm by myself. So if you're with me, what do you do? You just hold it? Sometimes. Fuck. What if you get a stomachache? I do. Damn. Yeah, I do get a stomach ache. You're, it's worth hurting your GI tract for all that? That's how much I hate it, yeah. Wow. Am I really fucking it up? I don't know. Oh, okay, fuck. <laughs> like, but I mean, shit ain't going to change, but now I know better. But I mean, I also think it's uh, it's probably not good because it, you're supposed to push it out. Are you? Yeah. It that's doesn't come you, out in a form of a, of a burp? No, that's why it's your... It's really? Your, I always try to make myself burp. No, so it's like, already no. too late. Just it's kidding. already too late. But anyway, it's time for our other sponsor, which you're not too late for. Okay, well, let's talk about something else. Let me bust a Bart. Wow. Yeah, let's talk. Let's, let's see if you could bust a Bart. You can't bust a Bart. I can. My mind is not that complex. Exactly. Everyone listening right now, I want to introduce you to Figs. We have talked about them before. What? Oh, fuck. What's going on? I'm not even going to say. We're going to have to guess later. Keep going. I'm so confused right now. Please, are you going to stay quiet? Okay. (laughs) So I want to talk about figs. I absolutely love it. This is for anyone that wears scrubs or you just want comfortable fitted clothes with a bunch of pockets. Like, it's really cool. So we all know what a scrub looks like, right? If you've ever been to a dental office, if you've ever been to any sort of medical office, they're the one there. It's their uniform. That's called a scrub. And it's not the most flattering. It looks very um, thick and and stiff and, and square looking. And square. It's not form fitting at all. It's not very um, flattering. But Figs saw that and they were like, whoa, come on. This is not right. Like we get that it made sense back whenever they invented that style. But this is a younger, cooler, hipper, hip, hipper. Hipper. Hipper, yeah. Yeah, generation. And um, that should, our, the clothing and the uniform should reflect that. So they created figs. Um, I absolutely love it because it looks like uh, jogger pants, We all know, like what you're wearing, but it's specific to the medical field where it has all these pockets where you can put pens and your badge um, and like, I don't know, whatever else you need to complete the job. I actually got some and I got some for you too because yep, it just looks them. really, really cool. Super comfortable. And they became my travel pants. Yep. Um, so I didn't feel like, oh, I'm not part of the medical field. Like it doesn't even, it doesn't look like your traditional scrubs. Um, I absolutely love them. Like I said, I take them when I travel because I, I need all that pocket space. I need to be comfortable when I'm like going to be sitting down for hours. Um, I even see myself like working out in them, honestly, but I just, I don't want to like overuse it because I'm like, I love these so much i just want to save them for when i um when i travel but for everyone listening right now um you guys are going to get 15 percent off when you go to wearfigs.com that's w-e-a-r-f-i-g-s.com and enter our code bail at checkout that's b-e-a-w again that's wearfigs.com and enter our code bail B-E-A-W at checkout for 15% off your first purchase. What's going on? My ear kind of itches for some reason in here. In here? 
like in the ear in the ear <laughs> in the ear canister. Oh <laughs> That's funny. Why? No, like you said in here, and I'm like, oh my god, it's like a little ear house. Yeah. For Bart. Do you think I'm weird or something? Oh, uh, you're fucking weird. Hell yeah, you're weird. Why? What the fuck? I don't know. Well, why would I know? No, but why do you think I'm weird? You don't think you're weird? I. You don't think your eyes could be deceiving you? My eyes? No, everyone thinks you're fucking crazy. Who's everyone? Anyone that meets you. You're fucking weird. I think I'm pretty weird too. <laughs> you motherfucker. No, because I do see the world, right? Like kind of like the whole thing where like I see everyone does things like this and then I see how my brain approaches certain things and then sometimes I'll express how I feel about certain situations. I see everyone look at me like I'm the weird one. I'm like, oh, I guess my thoughts aren't the norm. And I see everyone go going like nodding to the same things. Yeah. And it's been like that since I was a kid. In classrooms, all the time, I've always been like just fucking weird. Yeah, well, I mean, your parents are pretty fucking weird. So, and you were raised uh, very um, not American. You know, like one of the things I even said in class that got me in trouble was, uh, you know, when you first learned the ABCs, like the A, B, C, D, whatever. And then um, I, I think we're learning like capital and then lowercase. And then I'm like, oh, the capital... The capital alphabet are the parents to the lowercase alphabet. They're the lowercase kids. And then That's like, so cute. Yeah, and the teachers were just like, no, it's not just lowercase, it isn't just uppercase. Well, your teachers are fucking dumb fucks. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, I thought though they look like parents. They look like the, That's the, the big A is taking care of the little A. Yeah, if I was that teacher, I'd be like, exactly. That's a great way to look at it. Yeah, and I got in trouble. How? I don't know. Some I think they, I didn't think, I think they just wanted to dumb. go. I think they just wanted to be like, you shut up and write it down five times. Maybe okay. We're probably miss. You're, you, that's the part that you remember. Yeah. But the part you forgot. Yeah. Was you probably already got out of your chair ten fucking times? You were asking the stupidest questions, <laughs> when all they were trying to do was just teach the class and get everyone to like prepared so that they can work on that project, and you were probably that one kid causing a bunch of trouble. So then when you said that. If you were a good kid, they'd be like, yes, yeah, Spartan, that's correct. Good job. But this was probably fucking, they've told you already 40 times to pay attention. Don't do that. Don't do this. Come on, sit back down, whatever. And then you said that and they're like, shut the fuck up, kid. Just do your fucking work. That's probably what happened. Did I ever tell you the time that did I Did you got, hear anything I yeah, said? Yeah, I did. Okay. But I'm, no, it's going based off what you're saying. Okay. Did I ever tell you the time I got three VIPs in one day? What's a VIP? So in first grade, I had this teacher named Mrs. Darby. She's super cool. She passed around her wisdom teeth after she got it pulled out. <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. <laughs> so she, so she got it was in a plastic tray and she passed it around. It wasn't even in a baggie? No, it's in a plastic tray. It's close. And it's a oh, okay. clear case. And we're like, oh, that's so cool. Oh, well, a case is a case, babe. A tray is a fucking tray. I, I thought it was like a tray. Why well, just didn't describe the top tray on top of it? Okay. Well, she passed around the clear case and it was so cool. Like that's, that's Mrs. Darby. Everyone knows Mrs. Darby. And uh, in her class, if you do good, you get this VIP badge and then you get to pin it on you and it's seasonal. So if it's like springtime, it's like a, a rabbit. If it's, um, how cute. Yeah. If it's like fall, it's like a pumpkin and every kid can't wait to get one. If they can even just once that month, if you can get it once a month, you're fucking a stud. Are there multiple winners? Could be. Like if you do something really good, it's it's something like you did something really good, like a really good Samaritan batch. So then kids, there could be like 10 kids that get it. Uh, that day? It's rare, but it can. It's per day? Yeah, per day she'll give one out. And you only got three? No, no, no. Listen to me. You're not even, oh, you're not even okay. finished. But so if you can get one a month, <clears throat> you're straight killing it because no one even gets one a month. Okay? One time I got in so much trouble in a day that I got sent to the office. This is first grade, six years old. They told my mom had to come and pick me up and remove me from the classroom because that's how much trouble I was causing. Oh my God. When my mom came and picked me up, I also had three VIPs pinned to me. <laughs> that's how crazy it was. So I did three outstanding, excellent things. And I was also at the same time, such a nuisance that the teacher couldn't deal with me anymore. She had to pick me up. Oh my God. I hope Taika doesn't. But that's why I was trying to back up your point where like, yeah, like sometimes I go on both sides. I score, I score points for both teams. And then you wonder why, or not wonder why, 
But then you wonder if I think you're weird or not. You're fucking weird, babe. Really? Yeah. You're not normal. But that's I, but you also like that though. That's how you got with me. Mm, you weren't really that weird. Huh? Yeah. Well, when I got to know you, you weren't really that weird. So we were saying I trapped you and it's too late? Yeah, basically. <laughs> what? Yeah, you were, what the fuck? Can you stop scratching yourself? Can you keep your hands fucking, up here, please? I got these fucking nap bites. I know, but you're so distracting. <laughs> Fine. One more. This one just came in. It's just an incoming message. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? One of, them, one of them just comes in. Okay, you good? Yeah. What's the thing that worries you the most about uh, Taiko or having a kid? That. That that um, people that don't know him, a.k.a. his teachers, they're not going to be able to control him. And he's just going to be getting in trouble when um, he shouldn't be getting in trouble. They just misunderstand him. Yeah, that's one thing I worry about, too, because I know how I was. And I know that um, I think I was just misunderstood and understimulated. And I think I'm a pretty good hearted person. I like to party and have a lot of fun. And I think my version of partying, it's considered disruptive to the teacher because the teacher is trying to do something a certain way. Yeah. And I'm like, fuck, man, if Taika is like that too, because I could already see a lot of him like that. Like he likes to learn things his way and like he likes to fuck around a little bit too. So it makes me laugh. Like sometimes it takes 30 minutes to put on a pair of socks because he just wants to keep squirming around and doing all kinds of stuff. And I get it, you know, like yeah. it's easy for me to get frustrated because I got them. I got to put these socks on so I can leave. But I also get where he's coming from because he's just having a time of his life. So I'm like, yeah. fuck it. Let's just have a time of your life while I put these socks on for 30 minutes. And um, I'm worried that one day he might not like the teacher might not be prepared for something like him, like him. Yeah. And I felt bad because I would get in so much trouble. I think I probably was depressed as a kid too. Cause I felt Aww. like such a failure. Like, damn, I can't do anything right. I can't do anything right. Yeah. And I, and I, but I would see like other kids that actually have bad intentions that want to bully people or fuck people up. And I'm like, or mm -hmm. like copying and cheating and stuff. And I'm like, wait, those kids have bad intentions. I have good intentions and I get more in trouble than they do. What the fuck's going on? And I would get so down on myself and I hope he never has to go through that. Yeah. Well, I think it's, uh, I, I mean, who knows? But I think it'll be a little bit better for him because he has you in his life that you can empathize because you're like, I get it, bro. Been there, done that. Um, another one is, uh, unlike your parents and my parents, there's there's nothing that they ha that we have to uphold, right? Like for them, it's like they have this honor that that, that it's like uh, your kid is like an extension of you, and that's a reflection of you, and that judgment that falls on that on them for that. Like I felt that a lot, and my mom would always say that, like you can't go dress like that, or I can't send you to school looking like that, or you can't act like that, because what are people gonna think of me? You know? Yeah. So we don't have that. Like we're already pretty trash. So. I mean, you can't go lower than where we're at. Yeah, that's true. So if if the teachers do, Taika know, does dress pretty fly though. Oh no, he. I mean, we're stylish. Yeah, stylish trash. We just don't have class. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> um. So if he does get in trouble, and then they do call like a parent teacher conference, when we go in there, we're gonna hear it, and then we're gonna be like, "Well, then you fucked up." <laughs> you know what yeah. are you gonna do about it? Unlike our parents that were so embarrassed and they were like, okay, yeah, we're all going to do better. I'm going to go talk to them when they get home. I'm just going to be like, no way. You're just fucking stimulate him better or do something. Or we can just take him out and put him in like a more artsy school type of environment. Yeah. Yeah. Where like the setting is not so much just restricted to this desk for fucking hours. Like, isn't that crazy when you think about it? Like you have these kids that are full of imagination and energy. Yeah. And to have them sitting for hours at a time, just working and do like that's that's rough. Yeah, it's like I don't know if I like that. And you only have two breaks, really. Yeah, or three breaks. You have a, like a 10, 15 minute recess yeah. in the morning, and then you have lunch, and then you have another like little 10, 15 minute recess. What's and that one? I didn't have that. I only had two. Oh, really? Yeah, recess and lunch. That's it. You didn't have a second recess? No. I don't know in any schools that do. I th we had a second recess, I think. Oh, well, I didn't. But I'd be there. I'd be there from like, like I don't know, like 7.30 or something until 3 p.m. Yeah, me too. I only had two. Yeah. 
But yeah, yeah, even those two or two or three breaks, that's very short for it a is. kid that has a ton of energy and needs to get their wiggles out. Yeah, it's rough. It's rough. Yeah, I don't know. Thinking about that, I'm like, damn, like that's like some fucking factory workforce, old school yeah. way, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I think no wonder why I was always, uh, I would like wake up and I'm like, I'm at the turtle tank playing with the turtles. Cause I like, I'm like, I just you had need, these, yeah, you need I just simulation. had these episodes and I'm, I would just be like, oh cool. And I'm like at the turtle tank playing with the turtles. And then like my teacher, Mrs. Ivanet would be like, Bart, what are you doing? I'm like, oh, how did I get here? Oh no, really? Yeah. Damn, that's freaking crazy. Yeah. I've never had that. Our next sponsor is Noom. And this is awesome because it's January. A lot of people got New Year's goals for 2020 and people want to get in shape. They want to lose weight. They want to get jacked. They want to do all kinds of fitness goals. And that's exactly what Noom is all about. It's for people that want to lose a specific amount of weight and they want to build healthier habits. And that's what I like about Noom is because it's a comprehensive approach. It's lifestyle, psychological. It helps you. It's the recipe for success. Yes. Because it's not just like follow this thing that's super intimidating and then there's no one's going to be behind you pushing you. Yep. It's to help you build your lifestyle habits. So it's based in psychology and it teaches you why you do things you do and empowers you with the tools you need to break habits habits and replace them with better ones. And it's not just a diet, it's a healthy and easy uh, stick to way of life. And right now, if you go to noom.com slash bail, B-E-A-W, you can sign up for a free trial. That Ooh. is noom.com slash B-E-A-W. And so for those of you guys who have tried everything, um, I think it's really important, even as a fitness coach myself, to have a comprehensive approach to understand lifestyle, your diet, your psychology, when to put yourself in certain situations, when you take yourself out, what are some things you can change about your daily decisions to make those other decisions easier for you and not eat that random junk food just yeah. because that's what your friend likes to eat every time you meet up with them. Yeah, because you're able body, so all those workouts, you can do it. It, it really is just everything that's going on in your head. Like that's the biggest hurdle. Yep. All this weight, all the, di like if you're running the distance, all that stuff, little by little, you can chip away at it and you're going to get it, you know? But I think if, if your mindset is not there and if you don't have the proper tools or the, the circle of people like encouraging you and pushing you, then yeah, I can see why people fail. Yep. Go to noom.com slash bail. B-E-A-A-W. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah. So when... <laughs> it's so loud yeah so i guess when taika's like in school or whatever uh i i have no qualms with just like moving him out of it if or, me neither or moving him away from like that teacher because one, one thing that makes me feel good is that since we live close to pasadena pasadena has a bunch of those like forward thinking liberal type schools yeah like a ton of them yeah like probably the highest concentration in soul cal i feel like mm -hmm. so i feel like if he gets kicked out of five we still have more options I see. We can constantly put them in different ones. I thought you had to live in the city. Oh, no. Those ones are private schools. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like Pasadena public schools aren't that good, but they have a really, t a lot of top notch private schools. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I think we could like, we could put them in a bunch of them and try it. Try, like Waldorf. Uh, I know there's one, like our buddy Silent Mike, he went to a Waldorf. There's a Waldorf in Pasadena. There's a bunch of different, like Montessori schools. There's yeah. all kinds of like those type of schools. Yeah. I just really want him to be stimulated. He needs a lot of stimulation and he learns things. Like every kid, right? They learn things their own way. Um, but his style is, um, it's pretty unique. Like he has to keep moving to do this shit, you know? His style is like mine, which is fuckery. Yeah, he's just like, he'll be on my phone and then I'm like, do this. And he goes, and then he'll like do it. But then he's just like, oh, okay, got it. And I'm like, fuck man, this kid is just nonstop. He has the ADHD <sighs> way of learning, just like me. Damn it. Cause I'll be teaching him like how to catch, right? And then um, like, we're like this close to getting it. And then he drops it because he wants to go ride his bike around. And then I'm like, I don't want to. And I'm like, oh, I know what he's doing. He's just going to ride his bike and he's going to come back. Yeah. So he rides his bike around in a circle, or whatever. And he comes back to throw in. I'm like, and then he gets it. So yeah. he, he needs that. Damn it. He needs to he needs to learn like three things at, the, at each time. Yeah. But then when he's learning those three things, each one of them actually benefit the other one. <laughs> that's fucking cute the only reason why i say damn it is because i just don't want him to feel different oh he's gonna feel different yeah because he has me well I, I think the cool thing is because i'm gonna really try hard to have an open relationship with him i'm going to uh hopefully m make him feel it's us against the world yeah 
you know i think like like for like my dad i have a kind of a feeling that my dad is like me but i never felt like he got my back and it never felt and i think he maybe he doesn't even know how, or how to manage these things but it felt like he was just projecting all the time so he probably had adhd and he was probably like a really smart kid and he learned in weird ways and since uh, and I think maybe he also envied the kids that are able to just learn things like linearly, like like the very book smart kids. So he was probably trying to control me and make me learn that way. <coughs> Bless you. Excuse me. Thank you. And yeah. uh, so, maybe because he was trying to avoid the hardships he was feeling when they were trying to teach him. Yeah. So and because of that, that always felt like he didn't have my back and he's always on the teacher side. Versus I think with Taika, I would let him know like he goes, oh, I got to learn it like this. I'm like, oh, I know. I, I'm just like that. And hopefully I can really relate to him. And then if he goes, but the teacher wants me to do this, I would let him know, well, that's the way the teacher wants to do it. I'm like, we can keep trying the way the teacher wants to do it, but you can learn it your own way, but just perform it so that the teacher knows how to do it and understand that there's not one world that exists. There's your world, there's a teacher's world, and how can we make a compromise? And there's if there's enough frequency of not being able to make a compromise, I'm like, hey, I'm sorry, but you might have to change friends because we might have to move schools. Is that you know, cool to you, but hopefully I'm always on his, on his side and have his back all the time. Yeah. Yeah. That's really cool. I like that. The only thing that's a bummer is that he's going to encounter teachers that don't think that way. Yeah. They're just going to be so rigid and they're going to so, think he's just a deviant one. Yeah. Or just going like, no, there is only one way to learn things, you know? And it's like, no, like the only thing that's one way is, is math, I guess. But even then there's like, shit can change you know yeah yeah damn so much thinking. even about. math there's so many ways of learning yeah you know there's like the asian way of learning it and then there's like uh the what's more, the asian way so the asian way it's everything's memoriz memorization based first mm. so if you don't have it memorized so if it's not already a part of you there's no point in, in me teaching you theory actually i think that's how i actually learn things so they need for you to be th to have things be muscle memory so that when I teach you theory, everything already clicks mm. versus I think the Western way is like, I'm not learning shit until I understand why I'm doing things. Mm -hmm. Kind of like Mr. Miyagi, you know, he's like the wax on, wax off, go fucking wax these cars and until you can perfect a perfect circle. And he goes, I don't know why the fuck I'm doing these things. And then finally, you know how to do it. And then it's like, block this and your hand's perfect. And he's like, yeah. oh shit. So it's kind of like that. Where like yeah. the Asian way of math, like a lot of theorems and like it's like sine, cosine, what sine of zero, that's zero. You just memorize all that fucking shit. Yeah. And then they teach you, oh, you see how this graph? So when this graph goes down in here, it crosses the X axis, that's zero now. You're like, oh, but everything is memorize it all first. Yeah. Versus, and that's how you learned. Uh, that's how I learned a lot of things. And I think maybe that's my way of learning. I ended up learning a lot of stuff like that. Whereas like, I think that's why a lot of my current coaches, they like me because I really enjoy drilling. Mm. So like, let's say Ron or whatever, or PJ, like I drill, 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 drill. I don't even know why I'm drilling, but they go, you have to master this. I drill, 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 drill. So it's a part of me. So now when they teach me a concept, a strategy on how to counter someone, yeah. I can execute immediately versus someone that goes like, why do I need to learn the jab? That's like the most boring punch. I don't really want to learn it. Yeah. And you have to do all this time explaining all of it. Yeah. And then they go, oh, I get it. Okay, now That's I'll go to the- just one move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just like, I like, I like, uh, like even with our sex life, you know how I was telling you like, you know, when we reached our plateau, I'm like, I think instead of figuring out what's wrong with the sex life or figuring out how we get the sex life better, let's just fuck it till it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it till it's good. Let's yeah. make a fucking sticker. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just like, let's just keep fucking fucking until we fuck good. Fuck it till it's good. Because we can f sit there and figure shit out, speculate all day in theory, but when we finally get it, I'm like, aha, I know what the key is, and we're fucking 60 years old. I'm not trying to fuck you if I'm not turned on. And we even want to, why not? We just dry fuck. We dry fuck till it's good. Well, I'm going to be just reading a book or on my phone. Oh, that's fine. We still fuck it till it's good. <laughs> Fine. Because then one day when I see you close that book and you put it away, I'm like, oh shit, it's getting good. <laughs> one day. God damn. You're, you play the slow game. I play the long game. Uh, the long game. Yep. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Damn. I just hope, uh, I mean, we can hope that our, our kids don't experience any of the hardships or pain or whatever that we felt. Did you but, have hardship in, in school? Because I feel like since you, mm -hmm. you, you, fall more in the the normal learning yeah. and behavior category 
Like, did you have a ton of parent teacher conferences? Like, Geo acts up all the time. No, but when I did, it was that I do. I, I mean, I wasn't as bad as you, but I wasn't an angel. Like, I would talk all the time and like, I was disruptive in that way. Did you get expelled or suspended? No. No way. Oh, I feel like you're pretty good. You're just a normal kid. Yeah, I was a normal kid. Oh, I didn't okay. have like extra parent teacher conferences. They just have that, like, I think it's two every year, like in the middle of the school year and yeah. at, towards the end. And then during that time, they would just That's rat on you. Say, yeah. Yeah. But um, yeah, I mean, we all have heart. Like, I was a lazy student. Like, I just didn't want to do my homework. Um, like, I didn't really want to read or do any of that shit. Like, what, what do you think made you lazy? You think it was unstimulating information? Um,. I think so. Yeah. I mean, it just, it never like piqued my interest. Like none of it really did. Like dancing definitely did. Like all that stuff. Do you think you would have benefited from going to a, like a dance school? Dance oh yeah. I was school? obsessed. Yeah. I loved it. So like, let's say you, you, you mom found like some sort of dance academy preparatory school and it was like, everything's dance focused. Yeah. And then all the, all the general electives were like, Hey, you're going to learn these for bare minimum so yeah. that we can get you to a college. Oh, I would have smashed it. Oh. Yeah, I think I would have done so good because so I, I was so really passionate about that. Mm. Yeah, I was really passionate about dance and stuff. Um, but everything else, like or like some sort of performance I really liked. That's crazy. Now that you're making me think about it. If it was a performance and it was, and it was like me going in front of a class or like on stage, like I really liked that. I was like in my element. Damn, that's in really elementary cool. school. So you liked recitals and all that stuff. I loved it. I couldn't wait. Damn. Yeah, I loved it. I hated recitals. Mm -mm. But you know what I did like? I did like getting certificates. Oh, I like getting certificates in front of the school. I used to have a certificate collection. You know that? Me too. I was citizen of the month. No, I had like a whole binder of all my certificates. Your mom made that for you? I made it myself. Oh, shit. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, I actually made it myself. I just realized that. That I like... I like certificates oh that's cool you like you like accomplish you like accomplishing shit yeah i like uh at least back then i'm not so much that way anymore or at least i don't think i am i like just performing i liked all the attention that's really cool but yeah. how, how did you get up in the space where like now you don't really like public speaking that much um i just think it's just societal and just like my my environment you know like be, get, getting bullied for my siblings and shit yeah like going like shut up that's stupid don't say that you're dumb oh, like, that sucks. you know what i mean like like you start kind of like really believing that Second you don't want to your your, your true that, yeah and like you don't want to stick out because then you're gonna get called out and made feel bad so it was more of those like yeah why the fuck do i want to stand out type things i know that's crazy yeah but like i i told you before like i would put performances together and plays and shit at home like yeah, I was about like performance. One thing that makes me really happy though is that because we know this and I think we had so much um, like hardship as a child, we can hopefully pay more attention to Taika. Yeah. And hopefully when I see him and I have a good relationship with him and I can see what his needs are, I can help like move things and adapt things and make him feel good and make him thrive. Yeah, I just need to work on my patience. Really? Why? Um... Cause when I'm not patient, I'm just quick to problem solve and just like, okay, we got to move on. This is this is taking too long. Instead I think that's of, okay too. It's okay, but I think if I were to slow it down more, then I can really read the situation better. Oh, uh, I see. I think the reason why I say it's okay because I think the world moves like that. Yeah. You know, sometimes the world understands you and lets that's you have time true. to breathe. Yeah. And sometimes, like, you gotta s fucking swim or you're gonna sink. Yeah. Like sometimes you gotta be able to move fast. So like I think like. I think parenting, if it has balance, is okay. If it's stern, it's that's quick, true. no explanation, that's okay. If you have the counterpart of there's times I do explain things, there's a lot of love, there's a lot of emotion. Yeah. I think it just needs to be balanced. That's I think true. if it's just 100% one note, that's when it's bad. Yeah, that's true. That makes me feel better. Thank you. Like for me, I think it's always been 100% one note of move fast. I'm not going to explain shit, whatever. So I think I'm always ready for emergencies. When shit hits the fan, emergencies, I don't like, I'm ready for all of that stuff. Yeah. But I think that's also why I suck at emotions and talking things out and understanding and empathizing with other people because whatever has been demanded on me, I demand on other people. Yeah. So for other people, I'm like, why the fuck don't you get it? Because that's how I am, you yeah. know? But then I think with Taika, but I think on the other side, if you're too loving, too emotional, you don't have the urgency, then you uh. got people that just move slow 
and 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 they um, think it's okay because they were taught that they're still gonna love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's like, nah, bro. And it's like this isn't the real world doesn't operate I ain't like that. Your mommy and your daddy. Especially if you move to New York, you're gonna get fucked. Yeah, not the good kind either. Yeah, so I think like having a good balance like that is good. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, man, this kid's just getting so big so fast. Like he's formulating all these sentences and stuff. And no like, driving. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm like, God damn, like you have your opinions and like now you know what you want and like I told your mom about no driving this morning. Yeah. She started laughing. She thought it was Share so what that is. So you guys know, like if you guys watch the vlogs, um, these days if Taika wants to play, no matter how important our text or whatever thing is on our phone, he'll be like, No phone, no phone. Because he wants you to play and do this thing with him. Like immediately, yeah. Immediately. Uh, a couple of days ago we were eating a dinner and then on our way back. I think Taika wanted our attention. He's in the back seat of the car. So Jill's driving. I'm a sitting passenger. And she and he wants And by attention he wants eye contact. Yeah, only eye contact. So you can go, yes, what? And if you're not making eye contact for him, you're not. Yeah. It's like he'll still he go, have you. Mommy, mommy, mommy. You're like, what, Taika? Mommy, what? Mommy. What? Because he needs eye contact. So uh me, the dad sitting in the passenger, obviously mom can't turn around and give him eye contact because she's driving. So I look at Taika and I'm like, hey Taika, no, mommy's driving. You, you can't. And then he was like, no driving, no driving. I'm like, you don't understand, my boy. Yeah. I'm going to fucking kill you. I got to drive. He's like, no driving. I'm like, no, mama's driving. No, no driving. I'm like, God damn it, dude. He doesn't get it. Yeah, he's so Why smart. Why is he so dumb? I'm just kidding. I'm huh. kidding. He's fucking, he's really, really smart. He's actually really smart and he, really athletic for he, a two-year-old. Yeah, he gets things so fast. Like Surprises The way me. he connects the dots... I don't know if it's because we explain it really well or he's just like, boom, boom, got it, you know? Yeah. No, I think he's going to end up going to a special school. I kind of have this feeling already. Yeah. I kind of feel like maybe after first grade or second grade, we're gonna he's going to be getting in trouble like a motherfucker. I'm like, I think this guy needs a special school. Yeah. Yeah. I know. I got to start socializing my little puppy. I got to start socializing. You put him in the daycare, preschool, yeah. whatever? Yeah. Even though I don't want to, gosh, I wish he was, I got to potty train him. I don't feel comfortable with strangers like changing his diaper and shit. But they got mm. the ones with all the cameras and stuff now. Yeah, but they I'm not going to be on it 24-7. But there's that some sort of la layer of insurance. There is, there is. I know. I just want his pee, pee to be as much his and then not have stranger eyes on it. That's all. Yeah. Yeah, I just don't want people to get like, I don't know. There's just, I'm just freaked out. You know what I mean? There's yeah, just too yeah. many people around us too many just, stories eh. too many instances yeah 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 like it's just it hits it's too close to home for me and i'm like i i but what's my rush you know what i mean yeah why why do i gotta put him in like i'm i'm at home i don't need i have my mom i don't need another babysitter yeah well he does need to be socialized though no maybe, maybe we can get his cousins to come over more his little buddy guys buddy guys yeah, yeah. or i can just take him over there every day or something that just doesn't even make sense yeah because they live so far yeah, or we could have them come over because we got a big old house. We don't mind having a bunch of kids moving around. Yeah. Well, it's just so far. We're so far from everyone. Is there like a preschool daycare that you can be at? You know what I mean? Like you drop them off and you just sit I mean, in the if, corner. If and they just hire watch, me, probably. And you just watch them play for two hours? Oh, my God. I, that just sounds like a waste of my time. Oh, that's I know, true. right? So it's like, what do you want? Do you want to feel comfortable and know your child's protected? Or do you want to like fucking... Use your time efficiently. Yeah, I know. It's I'm a mess. I don't know. But um, but yeah, we're at the end of our podcast. Yeah? yeah. Okay. You get nothing else? No, do you? How's your sex life now? I was pretty good yesterday. Thanks. That's <laughs> all I wanted to hear. That's all I wanted to hear. And I wanted the rest of the world to hear it. Cause we fuck it till it's good. Hey. Alright, guys. Thank you so much for watching and we'll catch you next week. Bye. Bye.